Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to write up a Python program for your classes and objects topic, right? So uh, the process is going to be like, first of all, I'll help you out uh, with the explanation that uh, what's the question, right? Uh, in how many parts you can divide this out. Then I'll let you know the method about writing the program and uh, I'll be even providing you the hands-on for the same, okay? So let's get started up here very quickly. So uh, my question says that I need to write up a Python class. The name for that is gonna be a student, right? Um, and it will be having two instances, student one and my student two, okay? and assign the given values with said instances attributes. So what are the attributes I will be having? So I'll be assigning up the values to those particular attributes, right? And then I need to print up all the attributes of the student one and the student two instance to get their values in the format. Okay, so format is one format in which I uh, require in all of these particular uh, values to be over here, right? So that's what is my um, actual uh, question that I need to proceed in with, right? So this question actually doesn't contain some uh, like so further parts into that. It's just that this is a complete program and um, you just have to write up the Python class. The name for that is going to be student. Right, it will be having two instances, the student one and the student two, right? And we'll be assigning up the values given to them, right, as an instance's attributes. And we'll print all the attributes of the student one and the student two instance uh, with their values, right? That is what is my complete program. So what I will do is that I'll start writing in the program and as I proceed in further, I'll help you out with the same, okay? So let's say my class name is a student, fine. You can put in some in some attributes according to your choice, right? So um, let's say uh, the attributes which I will be having is let's say a double t. That's my address. Okay, a double t will not be the a double t r. Fine. So address is let's say a b c x y z right let's say that's the address and name you can put in name is equal to let's say for me let's let i'm gonna put up my name okay shambhavi now that's time for the proceeding in um now what is to be done get down i'll be making up the student one and the student two objects for this particular class the so student one is equal to a student student 2 is again equal to student put in the bracket here and again put in the bracket over here so see my first line was saying to me that you need to write up a class named the student with two instances student 1 and the student 2 right that is what i have done up over here completely right now what i would do and assign given values to said instance attributes. Now, these are my instances, my objects, right? Now, I need to assign them the values. So, for my student one, I write in, uh, let's say, student ID and the student name, okay? Or student school. Let's take it like student one dot student underscore um, ID, okay? It's a zero one is my ID student one dot the name for the student. Let's say student school name. Okay, so it's let's say PQR. Okay, fine. That's all done. Getting acha not colon. I need to put the equal to sign. Perfect. Same thing I'm going to do for the student two. The student two dot student and his score id that's gonna be let's say zero or zero two right and it's gonna be like student two dot student underscore school okay s will be small for this school 
it's equal to PQR PLW. Okay. Perfect. Or you can say DEF. It will be much better. Right? That, that's all done. Right? So we can just like even write down some marks also. Uh, so I'm going to put up some marks for my student 2. Not for my student 1. Right now I'm going to put up the marks uh, for my student 2. So it's student underscore. So it's student 2 dot. M underscore, uh, M underscore ENG, it's in English. The student has this code, let's say, um, out of 100, it's a 90 marks. And you know, I don't require to put these in the inverted comma quotations because these are the numbers, right? So I need to remove these from here. Perfect. Next will be my, uh, again, my student 2 right dot m uh, dot m and let's call it say computer so let's say student has code 95 okay and um, again i can write in student two dot marks and let's call it the marks okay and the student has scored 80 marks right let's say these are the three uh, marks which I needed to do and I need to put this over here. It's like needed up just a second this and this. Okay and done Perfect and I, and, I, and I do one thing I don't write the student uh, to his full name. Okay, I, I, I'll just do that thing Getting down I'll be making up students, S-T-U-D-E-N-T-S, -E students is equal to a uh, large brackets. Here it is, student one, comma, student two. Both of my uh, objects are over here, right? Now I'll be applying up my for loop. So for student and students, okay, for student and students, students okay i need to print in a statement i need to do backslash in means getting down to a new line and now my condition goes that for attribute 80 for attribute in student dot underscore underscore dict okay so for student dot underscore underscore dict get down over here and I need to print the attribute and the value. So right print if the string will go over here. So print will be with the att. No, it's 80, right? 80. And it will be double dash like this. Right again, the curly brackets into that. I'll write in get uh, get attribute get attr function over here. And into bracket, I'll write student, comma, the attribute, 80. Right? And that's all done. It's the time for running out my program. A student objects has no attribute. Student, student, two, okay. Okay, a student, two, student, okay. A student, student, two, student, two, okay. A student, two, students, okay. So... I need to check in one thing. Address is done. Name is done. Student one. Student S is capital. Yeah, it's it's okay. Two dot student ID. All uh, right. The marks are okay. The student two marks are also okay. Acha, I sorry. I just need. I just put in this dot. It's not needed. I need to put a comma over there. Fine. Perfect. So my student ID I'm getting as one, the school is PQR. Okay, student ID for one and the PQR, right? For my student ID two, I'm getting all the marks, 1995 and 80. So these are my 1995 and the 80, right? So you just have to print all the attributes of the student one and the student two classes, right? 
and that is what you are really getting up as an output right in a particular format you need to, to print it and that is the respective output which you are getting up over here right great so i hope i am clear up with this particular question to you like how you can proceed in how you can do this particular question what's the manner and um, the question like again i would say the question from the when you are reading this question like this it might seem a little difficult to you but when you are really going to imply and uh, use up your functions and the methods it's not that difficult to apply and to write out these all of the particular questions right so i hope i am pretty much clear with all of these things to you and soon i'm going to launch up the dss series also so stay tuned on to the channel So if you have enjoyed this video do share this video with your friends do like up this video and don't forget to subscribe out my channel we'll see you all in the next video till then thank you and take care